in Japan when Pride fell? I was. I was at Pride Gym. Um, oh, when, when, when you heard the news? Call that they closed the deal. The UFC had bought them out and the workers had lost their jobs. I was there right when that happened Ooh. at Pride Gym. What was the field? Well, when people had to expect it from all the news reports that were coming out at that well, time. I had, I was fighting for Bulldog at the time. I want to say, no, that's not true. Anyway, I had come back. I was at the Pride Gym because I was going to start running my own, I called it Kaminai Dojo, my own club out of that once I had downsized it. And I remember the worker, her name was Idi Asan. She came to me and she said, it's finalized. We're closing. UFC just bought us out. Now they they were treated well. They gave them like a year's pay or something like that. Nice. So, so no, yeah. So they 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 weren't upset about it, you know, from that perspective. It's not like they just got fired and then they were out. But it kind of happened fast from there, you know. Well, was it really unexpected though? I mean, with all the news reports, like. They were they got hammered. They what got hammered. And and what happened was that everybody knew that Pride had Yakuza involvement. Oh yeah. Right. Everybody knows that. But it's one thing to know it and it's one thing for it to be public. So when it became, <laughs> exactly. so when it became public, yeah, weird. Fuji Television is like NBC in Japan. When it became public, Fuji TV, they cut ties with Pride. So they lost their major sponsor. Yep. And that's when UFC sees, you know, stepped in and bought them out oh. because of that. Okay, so Ryan, what everybody knew what was going on there. I, I mean, we're here in the United States, really pre-internet for what it was. And even we knew what was happening there with like with the Yakuza. So what was the tipping point for it to finally come public? Like what, it, it, was, it wasn't like it was a secret. You know, I, I couldn't pinpoint it to one thing. Well, because it wasn't, I mean, Yakuza, it's not illegal to be Yakuza in Japan. Like Yakuza, it, Yakuza is involved in every level of Japanese society in one way, shape or form, right? So, and MMA to this day is still heavily you know, at least influenced on some level by the Yakuza. I can't really, I don't know the one thing that outside of that, that deal with Fuji TV that went sour, that really, really was why it happened. What made it go public, right? Yeah, I'm it was sure. like one reporter. I mean, it was every news person in the entire a- country knew about it, but only one reporter I don't know, finally got the green light to publish something that was, was obviously was a, a bad secret. There was one announcer that committed suicide, supposedly, and <laughs> and and then it spiraled down.